Aluminum welds on trailers can break repeatedly due to a combination of factors related to the material's properties, welding techniques, structural design, and operational stresses. Also, there could be improper welding techniques. For instance, if the weld doesn't penetrate fully to the joint, it won't hold up to the vibrations or loads, leading to failures in the middle of the weld. Also, there's normal wear and tear. As is the nature of these trailers going off-road, there is fatigue from repeated loading and vibration. These trailers are constantly enduring flexing during bumps and vibrations during transport, which fatigues the, these welds over time, even if the original welds were done correctly. One more weld should do it. It'll crack again, but let's weld it again. Once you've identified the problem, step two is grind it flush and then grind a groove. Get all the cancer out and then we'll fill it up. All right, we are ready to weld. See how that there's a V pattern or a groove? Ready to weld. Almost 18 volts, 405. Every machine has a sweet spot. Now that the cancer is removed and filled back up with a good weld, we grind it flush and then we put a plate and then weld all four sides. And what that does is it will distribute the weight so it's less likely to crack. After you're done with your repairs, it's always a good idea to clean it up. So here's the before and after. Feel free to pause this video and read this text. Have you guys ever heard of avoiding welding aluminum vertically on aluminum frames? Let me know in the comments. Also, have you heard of this product? Alumabrite can clean aluminum welds, and there's also an electrochemical weld cleaning process. Let me know if you have used either one of those processes or if you would rather use a wire brush and compressed air and call it good enough.